What's up everyone, Duquesne23 here bringing you some more Halo 4 news and right now I got some gameplay from the Dominion game type and also from the new map Solace. Uh, but first let's go ahead and talk about the Dominion game type. Now personally I think Dominion is going to be one of my new favorite game types because of the fact that of course it has vehicles and also it seems a lot more team oriented and like bait team battle type of stuff. Now if you notice right here the red team's C base is resupplying and this blue guy is stealing their base and so you know the red team guy's like no I'm gonna kill you but he does not stop the blue team from actually capturing the C base. Now guys all the bases start out with just a totally blank slate no one has them and then once they capture them then if you notice all the red guys stuff went away right here. All of a sudden the turret turned into a blue team turret so that really probably messed him up a lot his friends back there probably really upset at him for not uh, recapturing the base after he killed the blue guy but right there he finally does recapture base normally a ghost spawns in there and you see right here he tries to go through that blue shield it does not work because that is a blue team shield only and so that's really nice it's kinda like a one-way shield except that red teams can't enter in either way and the blue team can enter in no matter what or at least the team with the correct color can enter in no matter what but then in another video with IGN you actually get to see the full UNSC red base you know decked out and it's full armor it has the gun placements up top all the shields are up and everything and right here you get to see the ghost where it normally is going to be but instead of it just being there you know out in the open for the blue team can steal only the red team can deploy the ghost which I think that's really smart it'll really help with a lot of custom games and stuff and same thing with those shields those shields that only allow red or blue team in that'll be really nice to see some custom games built with that now right here in a little bit you get to see some of the very first gameplay that uses the wraith and if you notice it has kind of like a red shot not the typical blue shot and stuff so it's very interesting again I love this whole deploying thing where it only allows red people to grab it so you know blue team can't steal your vehicles and remember guys this is only for the Dominion game type uh, not all game types will have those you know uh, team specific uh, I guess vehicle spawn points as you would say but it's really cool to finally see the Wraith shoot and and get a splatter so that's uh, again uh, something really cool to see uh, but also one thing that about this Dominion game type once your team controls all the bases it puts the losing team in the last stand mode and what that does is that the losing team now will only have one life but they will all have over shields uh, so pretty much you got that one life if you get killed then you get killed and you just gotta hopefully your team can gain a base and then you could respawn again which it doesn't help if you have AFK members like that guy right there. That would be horrible. But personally, I think that's great because it adds a little bit of teamwork on where you don't want to lose. You don't want to lose all your bases. So I think this is really awesome. But now let's go ahead and get into the map Solace. Now this is a symmetrical map and it has a whole lot of forerunner structures and organic growth all over the map. So it's a little bit run down and it definitely looks very cool. Now one thing that you got to notice is that it is broken up into three layers with multiple towers and walkways leading to different levels. We will most likely see a lot of close range weapons although there are snipers on the map or at least come down in the ordnance drops and stuff so you still can have some nice sight lines for some distant stuff with uh, snipers and things like that but it is also great for close quarter combat. Now personally I think this map looks so much fun even though I am a vehicle type of person I still like maps that are like this especially some aesthetically pleasing maps like this. Um, I'm a big aesthetic person um, as you could tell whenever you know I'm playing Halo Reach and I'm making a map I do like to do a whole lot of aesthetics and so it's really nice to see everything all the details going into it all the overgrowth um, some that whatever that center structure beam that's like sucking things up I don't know that yellow beam right there so it's just something very interesting and really cool and of course the surrounding area it has some cliffs around the surrounding area and so it's just really nice to play in and to fight in and I really can't wait to be able to play this but guys that is it for this video be sure to give it a like and a favorite if you haven't already and also be sure to subscribe if you're new uh, because I will be coming out with a lot more Halo 4 information very soon and I will see y'all next time. Later, guys.